So for this problem, what we want to do is we want to deal with the we want to deal with um, sort of the order of operations. So the first thing I'm going to do, there's a couple ways you can do these problems, but the first thing I'm going to do is distribute these in, because notice these are products, so you can distribute an exponent into a product. If these were plus, you can't distribute it, mm -hmm. but they're products, so you can't. So let's distribute it into all three of those. So that's 2 cubed, x, what's x squared cubed? x to the fifth? Nope. Oh. X, x to the, the sixth. sixth. Because x squared cubed means x squared times x squared times x squared, mm -hmm. which is x to the sixth. So think of it like that. And then y, similarly, y to the negative 12. Okay? So there's I've distributed that one, and now let's do the same thing with the negative 2. So that's 3 to the negative 2, x to the negative 6, and y to the negative 2. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to move things around. And here's how I move things around. Anything that's a negative power, I move to the bottom. You could have done this in a different order, but I'm trying to do it in the most straightforward way that I know. So all of the things that I just put boxes around have to move to the bottom of my fraction, because what I have now is a fraction. These things stay in the top, so 2 cubed is 8, x to the 6 stays in the top, y to the 12th goes to the bottom, 3 squared, I like to put the numbers in front, 3 squared is 9, goes to the bottom, x to the 6 goes to the bottom, and y squared goes to the bottom. Now I made everything positive, and now I like just to cancel factors. So the 8 and the 9 don't cancel, the x to the 6, those all cancel all the way, and the y's, how many y's do I have? 14. I have 14 left, and where are they? In the, in the bottom. bottom. And there's your simplified answer.